Antonio Inoki, a Japanese professional wrestling star turned politician, widely known for his match with Muhammad Ali and ties to North Korea, has died aged 79 on October 1, after years of battling a rare disease. Inoki began his wrestling career in 1960 and quickly became a star, going on to become a huge draw for decades. Coolio, the rapper who shot to the top of the charts in the 1990s with albums like It Takes a Thief and Gangster's Paradise, has died on September 28. The artist was 59. The rap star was found dead on the bathroom floor of a friend's home in Los Angeles. The exact cause of his death on Wednesday has not yet been revealed, but it's suspected he died of cardiac arrest. Legendary gospel singer Keith Wonderboy Johnson has reportedly passed away at the age of 50. His cause of death has not yet been confirmed after his sudden passing on September 30. Singer-songwriter Keith shot to fame in 1998 following the release of his first gospel album, Through the Storm. Roger Welsh was an American news reporter who was a senior correspondent on the CBS News Sunday morning program and was featured in a segment called Postcards from Nebraska. He died on September 30, 2022, at the age of 85 after entering hospice. David Malachowski, a Schenectady native who took up guitar at age 8 and grew from regional bands into being the music director for country superstar Shania Twain in the mid-1990s and a globally touring musician in pit bands for Broadway musicals including Rent and Mamma Mia, died on September 29 from heart failure. He was 67. Albert Thomas Primo was an American television news executive who was credited with creating the Eyewitness News format. He died on September 29, 2022. He was 87 and suffered from cancer prior to his death. 